So before this video starts, I just quickly want to say that as this is now the ninth episode in the series, there might be some people who have not seen the whole series from the beginning and just now found this episode. If that's the case for you, there will be both a link in the top of the description to the entire playlist, as well as a card in the end of the video that you can click on to get there. With that said, I hope you guys will thoroughly enjoy the content and thank you guys so much for watching all these videos. It really means a lot to me and if you do enjoy it, please leave a like. I want to try and say that now in the beginning even though it might be annoying just to see if there's a difference and also 60% of the people who watch my content isn't actually subscribed so if you want to do that as well if you feel like I'm worthy of that then uh, make sure to do that as well so hope you guys will enjoy. I actually only went here for a couple of kills but I ended up getting granite gloves they're only 200k but uh, it's actually an addition to the collection log so not too bad. I'm just really rushing for that 95 slayer so I just did three sire kills nothing too interesting. Sweet feeling to get 94 magic and now I don't actually have to use divine magic potions for barrage anymore. Crazy archaeologist that's actually a boss I haven't done before so uh, I'm actually going to take 20 of them because I don't know how slow they are I think it's a very easy boss but let's see so this boss is actually really ridiculously simple when he says rain of knowledge you just run away a bit and you take no damage and I'm using the trident with slayer helmet and monk's robes that's pretty much it and I have my looting bag in my inventory as well I should easily be able to do I mean supply wise I could probably be here for like over 100 kills even more than that probably but uh, I'm going to do my 20 kills put all the loot in the looting bag and then I'll show in the next clip what uh, the overall loot was from 20 kills. Let's see what the first one is, 10 red Dragonites. So let's have a quick look in the looting bag, that is 227k, I would say the best loot for sure is the cannonballs and the onyx bolt tips. I think the onyx bolt tips drop was like 70k maybe or something like that, so definitely not too bad, but I only got one of those drops, so 200k in 20 kills, not very good loot. I've been doing Slayer for pretty much 3 days straight now and I just hit a milestone of 500 tasks. For a lot of points. I now have over 1000 points and the reason why I'm stacking up on points and doing Slayer is because I want to do Alchemical Hydra in this video and all the points that I have right now. I mean I could buy the Slayer helmet uh, well design change but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to save the points for is skipping Slayer assignment so that I can get a Hydra task from Konar when I do hit 95 Slayer. So I'll keep adding all the points that I get from 94 to 95 but I'm pretty close now with 145k experience left, probably like 3 to 5 hours left of Slayer. So off recording I've actually got like 3 in total of these and this is the 4th one, so I've actually made like almost close to 10 mil from these whips from 94 to 95 Slayer, so that's very nice extra profit. I'm getting a lot of these Abyss or Demon tasks that I can barrage. So finally, 95 Slayer, I can now get an Hydra task and uh, you can only actually get Hydra tasks from Konar, but I have 1100 points I think to be able to skip tasks to uh, get that one I need. Holy shit, look at the look at the chat. I just finished the task and I get a superior and I get an eternal gem. What? It's not uh, imbued heart, which is like 30 mil, but 6 mil is definitely not bad. And on the last kill as well. So I ended up with uh, about 700 points left when I got my Hydra task and I got to 143 of them. So let's see what we can get from that. Kinda low on money, so I sold my eternal gem for 5.6 mil to buy some supplies for the Hydra boss. As a matter of fact, I've actually already learned how to do the Alchemical Hydra in the Twisted League, so if you wanna see my progress on the boss in a normal sense, you can go watch my Twisted League series, which will be in the uh, card on the top right of the screen right now. But the one thing I actually didn't know about the boss, I will showcase in this clip right here. So when it goes into the red phase and you will soon encounter a fire phase, there's actually a way or a trick that you can do to in avoid the entire phase. So if you mark these tiles right here and you stand on the top one in front of me, I will walk to it in just a sec. As soon as you see the boss shooting out the fire animation at you, you walk to the other one and you can walk through the fire and you go, it just disappears. It literally just doesn't work anymore. I think it's because it, the fire can't overlap and it kind of screws it over with the uh, firewall on the right. So you can essentially just avoid the entire fire phase if you do this. So after using the blowpipe for a couple of kills and using the dragon crossbow for a few, the blowpipe is way superior. I mean, I'm using adamant darts and I'm getting the kills way faster. It's substantially better. Like, yeah, you can see 20 second faster kill there and uh, the other one was with the dragon crossbow. 
That is what I call an alkyball dream. That's like what, 160k in Alex in one drop. <laughs> Pretty insane. Getting the kills with blowpipe is actually not bad. I mean, my setup is very uh, welfare with the, the dehyde and all that, but uh, definitely not too bad. 51 KC and the loot is worth 5.7 million without a single rare drop. So definitely very good loot. It's like 110k so far each kill. No fucking way. No way. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> what? 69 KC and I get the pet. Okay, this is just not fair. I mean, I've got the Kree pet at 30kz and now the Hydro pet at 69kz. It's like one of the best looking pets in the game as well. What? Holy, like, look at this. You can actually transform it into the different phases of the boss. And I think the fire one looks the best with the gear I'm using right now. Oh my, it looks so good with my gear. I am so happy about that. One of the best parts about it as well is that in the future I don't have to probably grind the boss for the collection log to get the pet out of the way. I already have it done now and it's also insured so such a good feeling man. Yeah you know what, uh, I think my luck is just broken. I mean, what? Hydra leather on 95kc, pet on 69. I mean it's not the most valuable drop but 6 mil is not bad. So I only have one kill left to do after this one, but this is actually the first brimstone key drop I've got the entire task. And I think the drop rate of the key is like 1 in 50 or 1 in 60. So I am slightly unlucky there, but my luck in general is just nuts, so I can't complain at all. Last kill coming in when this boss dies, and uh, yeah, that is 727 points left. And I can probably get another task as well if I want to, but Lanza Dimes and uh, some Super Restores. Well, 143 kills was just nuts. That was just a pet and Hydra Leather in that KC is just beyond insanely lucky. I actually wanted to try and get another Hydra task, but uh, after using like 250 points, I actually got a Smoke Devil task. So I'm going to do that and maybe we can get lucky and get a second pet in one video. Is this actually reality? The first Smoke Devil task where I do not actually get extremely lucky. I got nothing special at all unless I get something here. Nope, prayer potions, but I'm getting closer to that 500kc, which is pretty nice to see. Well, here we go again, 131 hydras, let's do it on the boss and uh, hopefully get something this time as well. I'm actually really happy I got this, I got the alchemical hydra heads. I do think that is a 1 in 256, so it's not super super rare, but it's pretty rare, and it gives the, in my opinion, coolest looking slayer helmet in the game, but uh, I only have like 500 points, so I can't actually unlock it right now. But it's nice to have it at least. Wow, man. I mean, uh, the Hydro Leathers are 1 in 500. So getting two of them in 200kc is extremely lucky. So my luck on this boss continues, I guess. Free 6 mole right there. Not a launch drop, but uh, still extremely good. Ah, uh, well, I guess I deserve a Hydra's Tail right now. It's like one of the most useless items you can get from this one. It's actually fairly rare as well. It's only 70k though. Oh. When the Hydra falls to the ground and dies, I have completed two entire tasks on the Alchemical Hydra. And every kill has been like 2 minutes and 20 seconds or 2 minutes 10 seconds. So it's fairly decent for the gear setup I'm using. And the last loot is some Alchemicals, like 110k or something like that. But that is 274 Alchemical Hydra kills in one video. No twisted bow and I'm pretty happy about that. I have the two beautiful pets in my inventory right now to uh, get some luck for these 12 brimstone keys that I have. Look at this beautiful pet, it's actually insane. Let's see the Kriara pet as well. Looks really good. Okay, Connor, why are you blocking my path? But I'm going to drop the Hydro pet for some luck and let's open these 12 keys. And I think every single brimstone key, when people have done like 1000 of them in one video, is roughly 100k, so I should get 1.2 million from this, un unless I get lucky. I think the redwood tree seeds, or dragon fruit trees, I think that is. Uh, dragon fruit tree seeds are actually worth quite a lot. And magic seeds, that's also very good, so we might go above it. Let's see how much it's actually worth. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, the price checker. 1.5 mil almost, so that is a bit more than 100k per key. Here we have the total loot for the brimstone chests and all the 274 alchemical hydro kills. I didn't actually pick up all the hydro bones, but I would say I have around 300 of them in the bank. But 43.6 million. If I do some really, really quick maths, that's like 175k per kill. 
which I cannot be happier about. So let's end the video with the slides. We have done some major improvements on the alchemical hydra side, of course, going from 0 to 274 kill counts. And also, in the beginning of the video, I did kill 20 crazy archaeologists, which I also had 0 kills of in the beginning. And we have also added some kill counts to the smoke devil boss, the thermonu thermonuclear smoke devil. So we have made some pretty good progress in this video. We ticked off two bosses and added some to a third. So I would say that is a very successful video. Also, of course, getting a pet is goddamn cheese on the top. So that is it for this video. I do hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, please leave a like. It really helps the video out to get seen to many people. And also, another thing that really does help is either you subscribing or clicking one of the video links that will be on the screen right now to any of my other videos really because that helps me get recommended as well so that is like the two things likes and uh, click other people clicking my videos uh, from watching another video so anyways that's all I wanted to say if you do like my content make sure to do any of those things to support me and I greatly appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one guys take care